Yeah. It's great to be back on home turf. Um, you know, I've, I've, I've just done an extensive tour of the UK. I've just been out to Taiwan to do the World Games, so it's been nice to get back and, and meet the public again of Manchester. In all fairness, I wasn't expecting quite such a large gathering because it's an afternoon and, you know, you just you can never gauge how many people are going to, to come along. And we've not really done any television or major publicity around it, so I was, I was over the moon with the, with the people that were there and the, and the general reaction I thought was really good. This is from Arya Russell's mum. Excuse the background. I'm totally aware of the community spirit that's been uh, that, 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 that sort of surrounds the Russell Watson brand. Quite often, go online and, and check out the forums to see what the the fans are saying, and more more often than not, just to try to gauge what it is exactly that you know that they want and that, that, that they'd like from me, and try to accommodate them where possible. But there is a real sense of community spirit with the fans. They've they've got this. You know, it's, it's amazing, actually. Interestingly enough, they often seem to know where I'm going to be before I do. So generally, if I want to know where I'm going to be and what I'm doing, I'll just go on the forums and find out. <laughs> I'm a brought him roses because I love him and he loves us, so we give him all, all his love back. Well, I come down from Scotland. From I've done it 13 times already this year to see 12 concerts, and I've been doing it for six years, and I've got a fan site for him as well. I used to follow Russell around the working men's clubs before he became famous and I've been following him for 14 years. His fan base is, is quite some size but I think over the years the friendships were formed are strong. I think, you, you know, you do seem to see the same faces that turn up every time and they come from all over. We've come down from the North East today. Um, we're here for a couple of hours and then back again. So, And it's that, really, I think Russell is, is a catalyst for a lot of friendships and, and enduring friendships. We, we've known people from 2001, 2002. He is getting better. We saw him, um, me and my friend saw him at Kenwood two weeks ago and his voice was absolutely tremendous. Probably the best I've heard it. When he sang Jill's America we all had tears in our eyes then. And it was absolutely phenomenal. He's just a good entertainer um, of all ages as well. As you can see today, there's many different ages around, which, you know, you can take your, your mum with you, you can take children with you, everybody, so it's good. Well, the book's kind of like, it's, it's based in, I think it was meant to sort of, it's like first person, so it starts off with, with, with me explaining you know, the, the kind of turmoil of the last two or three years, and it was, in, in fact, the the last tumour that I had and the, the shock of all that. So it, it starts off it, it starts off really hard hitting. And then it's kind of like me sort of thinking back as a throwback to the past. And I think it sets the book up really, really well. And it's almost me kind of in a position where I feel, where I obviously felt like my life was greatly threatened by this thing that had appeared in the front of my skull. And, and I think my reflecting on what had gone prior to that made it quite poignant, actually. I try to relate to my fans on a one-on-one -on -one basis, so when each, when each person comes over, I try to relate to them differently. There was a couple of people there today, um, two in particular, one who had um, surgery and was clearly still very poorly, had lost all the hair from radiotherapy and a combination of chemotherapy. So... It, it always kind of tugs at my heartstrings when, when I come into contact with people who've been through a similar circumstance to, to what I have. And I, I don't know, maybe they feel that they can speak to me about it a little easier because they know that I've been through a similar turmoil. And there was another lady that had, um, had, had throat cancer and, and lung cancer. And she was chatting away with, to me with a very croaky voice and somebody like that comes up to you and says you're an inspiration, then it really does make you feel inspired. <laughs>